Hey, I'm Adam with the Solar Truth here, and I'm with Andy out in Temecula, California. And we did a really cool off battery backup system, not totally off-grid, you know, it is grid-tied, but it could go off-grid. You know, we got battery, solar, uh, sol arc inverters, and a 10.5 kilowatt LG solar system. Um, you know, so, uh, so Andy, if you wanna uh, just talk about why we, what your goal was here and, and what we were trying to accomplish with your house. Yeah, thanks Adam. Well, when I was looking for a solar system, I was really looking for a system that could take our house to be the, on the critical circuit. So the whole house could be powered. And um, looking around at different systems and different companies, I really couldn't find a solution until I came to SunPro. And uh, I'm not being paid for this, but uh, it's for real. These guys know what they're doing. They do customized designs. And uh, you'll see from the installation that uh, it, it, it delivered exactly what they, they promised they would. So it's really great. Yeah, and I know Andy's, uh, one of his big concerns was was off-grid. You know, we're out here, we're actually just outside the fire zone, so we didn't get like the really big battery rebate that is available in California for a little bit longer. Um, but we got a pretty good uh, uh, size rebate. It's about 6,500 bucks. Yeah, just the... over. Yeah. 69, yeah. Um, so, which is the standard rebate, but locked in at a tier that, that kind of went away and it's dwindling down. Um, but we were able to reserve that a while ago and, and get that locked in. What the concern was, was a lot of production when we're off grid, especially when uh, in the winter, like when the sun's not out as much. So that's why these, these panels are actually at uh, more tilted, a little bit more than normal. So they're at about, they're right about 30 degree angle at perfectly true magnetic self. And the reason for that is in the summer with a little bit flatter array, like 15 to 20%, you're getting more production because there's more hours in the in the summer. Uh, the sun's out longer. But in the winter, uh, you're not nearly as getting as much production when you don't have as much sun, so then you need more production to charge your batteries to get you know that production too. So anyway, you get a little bit more uh, winter production with this system uh, and a little bit less summer production because of that. Um, but overall, uh, the production isn't much less cumulatively um, so it's you know going to provide more uh, when you need it basically uh, to get you through those winter nights and stuff. And then we did a pretty cool battery backup system here too that we'll show you in a second. And uh, you know able to provide um, you know pretty much all the power for his home here. So we got two Solar 12 kilowatt inverters here. These are very popular with prepper scenarios. So in fact, a lot of people uh, actually replace other battery systems like even Tesla power walls, for example, when they can't provide enough power for backup uh, cases. So there's actually quite a few advantages with these when you have uh, off grid. Uh, one is uh, you can do DC uh, connection to your solar. So if your battery totally drains, a lot of battery systems can't even restart. You have to like manually restart them or charge the batteries. It, it can create a lot of problems. But with DC power, as soon as that sun hits those panels, the batteries are charging and the system's on. They also can do load shedding and reduce demand charges automatically like with commercial scenarios too. So they're just very universal and have, uh, they can auto start generators. There's just a lot of capacity with these. So if, uh, you know, like here, we could add an auto start generator if you want now, you know, if that ends up being needed. So we have, uh, you know, 12 kilowatts. What that does is one, it can have a lot of solar connected to it. You can have 12 to 16 kilowatts of solar actually connected to it, each one, and then, um, they can do 50 amps of power each. So that means we got 100 amps of backup power, which you would need five Tesla power walls to do that. Uh, so we have one of those arrays out there connected to this one, and then two of them connected to this one. And then we're charging our, our uh, sol uh, stores batteries that we have over here. I'll show this in a second. And um, yeah, we'll do a live test also to shut the power off and, and uh, I'll be out here shutting it off and then we'll video inside as it's being shut off and you know using you know whatever we want in the house um, with uh, uh, basically the power being off. Okay, so we have a stores battery system here. Uh, these have a lot of advantages versus a lot of batteries on the market. One is their lithium iron phosphate, which can't catch fire, explode, it's non-toxic. Lithium ion technology batteries, like cell phones and cars are lightweight, but they have those disadvantages to them. Uh, you know, you, you shouldn't put it on like a bedroom wall, for example. Um, so these actually have 8,000 life cycles, which will generally give you about 15 to 20 years of operating time. Uh, most battery systems have about 4,000 life cycles, and it's a 15 year production warranty. 
Uh, they're 5.12 kilowatt hours each, so the whole system is about 20.5 kilowatt hours, which will give you like one to two days uh, runtime uh, when the when the when it's raining and your solar's not working. Uh, it really depends on how many loads you have going and what you're using off grid, uh, and when the power goes out. They're also stackable up to 14 batteries, so you could do a pretty large system. You could add on later. Yeah. So we can check out the inverter system now and show you the monitoring and and what you can all see from the system as it's functioning. So the Solarc inverters, unlike a lot of other inverters out there, actually have a display screen on them and a mobile app. So you can look at it uh, however you want. You, can, you know, you can come out here if uh, something's wrong with your phone and uh, just tap on the screen there. Right now we have uh, power coming from the solar, we have energy going to the grid, we have energy going to the house, and we have the battery state of charge. So um, on this one, we've already had uh, uh, 48 kilowatt hours today, and about half that on the other one with, with a, a third of the rays. And, and uh, the battery's at 98% charge right now. We have you know power going to the grid and to, to the home. So on your app, um, you have uh, everything you can see here too and you can actually you know choose what you can see um, and look at your production the battery state of charge uh, the same you know same thing on there except a little clearer and kind of all the options you want and then you can adjust your settings on the inverters as well here our main panel here's a, actually a 400 amp panel um, our main disconnect is here and then our solar inverters and the house is actually on this panel over here So what I'm gonna do for this test is shut off our main panel and then we're powering the backup panel and the solar And we'll do a live feed into the house uh, running stuff and show how that's gonna work Okay, so we're doing a live test now. I'm gonna go ahead and set off the main power to the house and we're gonna run some Equipment in the house. Here we go three two one all right, simulating an off-grid power shutoff. All right, everything's still running. There was just a slight little flicker. And we're boiling water right now on an induction cooktop. And it's on a boost setting. The next thing we're gonna try is run the microwave at the same time. Here we go, we're heating a cup of water with a microwave, running at full blast. We're boiling water, and now I'm gonna turn on the oven. Okay, the oven is preheating and all our lights, halogen lights are on indoors and not a hiccup. Everything's running. And now, yeah, over here we have our solar converter has, uh, um, it shows the grids off yellow and now all the power is coming from our solar system as you can see there and the batteries as you can see here on uh, both inverters. So uh, that's what our app will be showing now too. That, um, the batteries are starting to discharge. And uh, there we got all our information there too on the solar batteries and everything. Pretty cool. All right. And cool. We, we have water boiling. <laughs> and the water's boiling in here. <laughs> you may recognize this because we were trying to do a different battery system before called Paladin. And it sounded amazing. It kind of sounded too good to be true, to be honest. And uh, that, that's what I believe it was, kind of too good to be true. So you gotta be really careful. You know, Solark has been around for a long time, so we ended up uh, just having a lot of delays, not able to get the battery. We got the, the, the container and that was it, just the, <laughs> the cabinet, the batteries going, uh, no inverters, no batteries or anything. And uh, uh, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't trust that, uh, that it was gonna happen. So I ended up switching to Solark, which just has a lot of advantages that are uh, reliable. And they've been around for a long time, I think like at least t t 10 years. And um, uh, they're, they're probably the most common battery in a prepper situation. They've won awards for being the best thought out uh, off-grid battery system and uh, generator uh, available battery. So uh, this is a great way to go and um, it's got a great monitoring system, just everything's dialed in. Uh, so it ends up being uh, just an amazing solution if you need a lot of power off-grid. All right, thanks for watching our video on Solark live test demonstration with our off-grid or grid tied but can go off-grid battery backup system. Uh, that test we did was actually the first test we had done here and uh, it was live and um, you know no edits and we just filmed it as it was and worked great, worked perfectly. So um, that was pretty awesome. And um, 
Uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to the videos. I'm gonna try to do a lot more of these videos of like pretty cool off-grid systems. We've been doing a lot, a lot. I've been helping out a lot of battery backup systems, mainly because of the fire rebate out in California, because it's just such a good rebate that's uh, re amazing. And uh, sadly not gonna be available for very much longer because it looks like they're not funding it uh, more. So uh, join us next time and thanks for watching.